right, so it happened. Um, flat tire just outside of Eagle Plains coming back on the Dempster. Um, I thought I made it through a lot of the um, hardest parts of the, the journey. Um, I think this stretch from here to, to Tombstone has some, uh, some nice spots in there as well to, uh, to worry about a bit. But the weather's been great, it's been dry conditions, so I must have just hit a, uh, a pretty sharp rock there. All right, I'm back at the campsite that I was when I was heading uh, uh, to Tuck. Just gonna take it easy tonight, I think. It's pretty early, it's, it's not maybe four o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, I'm just tired, tired of, of bumping around, and uh, I think some rest and some hydration is needed. So I'm gonna tear apart the truck and um, figure out something for dinner and just chill. So this view is a lot different than it was the last time I was here a couple days ago. Um, it's just smoke filled. It smells like smoke. Um, there must be a forest fire somewhere. I'm going to clean up eventually um, and uh, yeah, just take care of some uh, personal hygiene. Alright, I'm all cleaned up, um, all organized. My truck's still running, which is doing a uh, final backup of today's stuff. And uh, once that goes off, it'll be back to uh, quiet. But um, it's time to make some dinner. There's like a fire from somewhere, there's gotta be. I have wine, but there's no way I can show you the label because Luigi might see this. Sorry, buddy. What do you guys think? Is this a trip you'd want to do? Eating and talking at the same time. I do get weirded out from time to time. It's like right now I hear like a car coming up this road. What a treat for them. Hi, guys. Comfy in here. Oh wow, good morning. Um, <laughs> looks like a great day. Popped into the Tombstone Visitor Center and I was curious about the smoke in the area, if the winds changed or a fire started in the last couple days. And uh, she said it was a fire burning all summer um, around Stewart Crossing that just had a huge flare up um, two days ago. That's what's causing all the smoke in the valley here. So I think that's going to end my uh, Dempster run. This is probably about the 76 kilometer mark until the Dempster's over. And uh, one flat tire, um, a whole lot of photos, a whole lot of video. I think my audible here is to head into Dawson. Thank you, thank you for watching these videos. If you did like what you saw here, please do hit that like or subscribe button, it means a ton. Um, I'm getting hammered by a ton of whatever these no see are, but I can see them, so maybe they're not that at all. But uh, that's it, let's go to Dawson. All this smoke is covering up all the beauty. There was a guy in Tuck that told me about this road, said it was amazing, and uh, the girl, in the visitor center also told me that it was a pretty remarkable stretch. Provides some many scenic views, so really that's enough for me. And it gets me a little bit south and maybe a change of weather and wind, hopefully. It's just too smoky. Smoke's no fun. All right, so here's a look at the conditions out here now. It's just uh, 
I think underneath all the smoke is a beautiful clear day. Um, it's warm, but it is really, really, really smoky. But I think I'm very close to the source of the fire here. Um, I've traveled, I don't know, a couple hundred fifty kilometers from Dawson. And uh, I'm almost at Pelly Crossing. There's the smoke. All right, uh, that worked. So I'm smoke free at the moment. And I'm heading to South Canal, Canole, South Canole Road. Well, this is my 50. It's uh, referred to as the road less traveled. Um, I went to, into CarMax and now going right back there. I just filled up, made sure I had a full tank of gas. I'm probably like, this road is 276 kilometers. Um, it's not a lot, but you know, have to make, she's got to top up the gas, man. All right, wow. I'm at a place called Frenchman Lake, and uh, this is my campground for the night. Good morning, guys. Mornings look similar. I make myself a coffee. I make sure I talk to Tell, let her know that I'm still alive. I had this site basically right on the lake here. Um, I tried to wait out uh, last night to see what the stars and the and if any northern lights were going to happen, and um, they didn't. All right, here's Dawson City, and that's where I left. The fire was down here at Pelly Crossing, and all that smoke was going that way. Uh, as soon as I got past Pelly, it was pretty sky opened up again and the air was breathable. Uh, CarMax was where I fueled up. And then just a little bit east on Highway 4 here is called Frenchman Lake, is where I ended up uh, right now and last night. Um, and now I'm heading my way to Faro and I'm going to take this road right here, which is the uh, Kennel Road. I think this is the South Kennel Road. And it's a little bit of a different way to uh, back to Whitehorse. That's the final goal there. All right, I'm at Quiet Lake, and I think this is going to be where I'm going to set up for the night. happy how this this trip went all right within a few minutes now it's pouring rain on me Uh, I think that's gonna do it.
it's over. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button? Maybe even the like button. It means a ton. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.